Turn around, like one point. Okay, we're gonna call the or meeting to order for the Blackstone Regional School Committee, uh, Blackstone Middle Regional School Committee for uh, February twentieth, uh, two thousand fourteen. If we can rise, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll do introduction of members. We need to stay still yeah. at the regular meeting. Maybe at the regular. Yeah. Maybe at the regular. Yeah, okay, yeah, because we had, uh, yeah. We'll do it I at think at the meeting. regular. I was going to do the regular one. Okay. Just, you know, yeah. just. I thought I was going to have us do calisthenics for a second. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm Steve Tringali from Millville. I'm uh, Mike Buckley from Blackstone. Brian Faulkner, Millville. <coughs> Diane Robin, Blackstone. Wendy Greenstein, Blackstone. Aaron Bernanko, Millville. Bill Chaplin, Blackstone. You can Carolyn Burke from the New England School Development Council. Okay. Uh, so uh, the only item on our agenda tonight is to review um, the uh, Superintendent Selection uh, Screening Committee, uh, which you both, uh, Diane and Aaron, chaired. So I'm going to turn it over to you guys to uh, take this part of the meeting, and we'll, we'll proceed that way. Okay. Um, first, we d would like to thank all of those members who were on the um, screening committee. We did put in... Um, many long hours um, reviewing the, the applications and interviewing potential um, candidates. And, um, you know, without them, I, I, I think they really played into how, um, how diverse a, a, a candidate pool we have. So, Erin, um, do you want to say anything? I just want to say that the group we worked with poured everything they had into it. And and definitely, um, they were they were very sincere. So we had, we, we had a nice group. And thank you. You want to mention their names? Do you have their names? Um, the group. I would have to look. Um, they were representative from um, all the PTOs. Um, I have their names. Do we want to? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, go for it. How many total people were there, including you guys? Twelve. I think. 12 or 13. And you had how many meetings altogether? Um, what, what did we say last time? It was about 18 hours spent wow. with our, yeah. our time with NESDEC and interviewing. Wow. It was... Um, In a short amount of time, right? Mm -hmm. And the snow was not cooperative mm. during that period of time. It was um, one night into the morning. <laughs> I just yeah. want to throw that out there. <laughs> I'll have their names in a minute. Or did we did we pull them off of here? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh no, I have them right here. Okay. So, um, of obviously myself and Diane, uh, the support staff was represented by Joanne Arquetto. Teachers Union was uh, represented by Kathy Jones. The Town of Millville public official was Jerry Finn. Student rep Allison Dano, who put in just as many hours and late hours as we did. Um, Administrator Michael Dudek. The PAC was re represented by Jen Dean Wing. MESPA, Kathy Stearman. Uh, BIPO was Michael Andu. Uh, the middle school was represented uh, by Joe Starnes. And the high school was Lauren Riley. Anybody? That was our group. Great. Thank you again. Um, out of that whole process, we have six candidates to bring forward to you. Um, the first one, Margot Austin, um, Assistant Superintendent from Sutton. Um, Dr. Anthony Azar, um, administra Administrator of Curriculum and Instruction from New Bedford. Alan Himmelberger, um, Superintendent from Oxford. Dr. Andrew Keogh, Principal um, of Wellesley High School. Um, Craig Levis. I think Levis is Levis. what we have. <laughs> Director of Special Ed from Smithfield, Rhode Island. And Dr. Um, David Thompson, um, Principal of Bridgewater Raynham Regional School District. Okay. Thank you. Principal of the high school? Uh, was he the high school <laughs> for uh, Dr. Thompson? The one from Bridgewater Raynham? Is that high school? Was he? I have a feeling it was the middle school. Yeah. You have the resumes in front yes. of you. You can open them. You have them. <coughs> middle school. It is middle school. Now they can open them. 
So we can um, schedule. So what, what are the next steps? You tell you we have, steps, we have six here. Um, Mrs. Um, Dr. Burke will do a little training for us. We'll set our our we'll give her a list of dates to schedule the interviews. And I think we need to talk about because there are six candidates, which is probably larger than the usual finalist pool. Uh, how we want to proceed. How many did you start with? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Down to six. Okay. We interviewed nine. Nine. I can walk you through the next steps yes. if you'd like. Or you'd like a few minutes to look at your resumes. There's also resumes for each of the candidates available for the public, and those will be where, Diane? Um, at the in the superintendent's office. In the superintendent's office. So there are. And we'll post the um, information up on the superintendent search um, link portion link somewhere. on our website. Okay. Each of you has in front of you a package, a packet from NESDEC. And tonight we have uh, some, you have some decisions to make, and I'll walk you through what those are. And there's some resources in the packet to help you make those decisions. It's your meeting, so um, interrupt me however you want and ask questions and I'll just um, go along until you signal otherwise. So the overview will start on the left hand side of your packet. You have the, uh, what we're going to talk about tonight. Some of the decisions that are going to be made. There's a, an agenda. There's a timeline there showing what has been accomplished from, uh, so far in the search. It's this colored paper. And what's left. So there's the, the screening committee has done its work. And really, it was an impressive group. And um, both Dr. Betancourt and I were, were talking about how professional and how, what a cohesive group you were. I mean, polite, uh, outspoken, thoughtful, and really took the job seriously. I mean, uh, commendable job. By so now. By midnight on the last night, though, we were getting a little bit, um, <laughs> <laughs> not as professional, but anyway, well. go ahead. <laughs> so now the sh it shifts from the work of the screening committee to the work of the school committee. And everything from this point on is public. So what we will do tonight is make some decisions about who you would like to, I mean, how you would like to set up interviews, whether you want one round or two rounds of interviews, when those would be. We'll make some decisions about the questions that you would ask, the venue for the interviews, all of that. We'll get that all, of set, all set up and decide on some dates. I would like to be able to leave here tonight and be able to contact the candidates to tell them uh, to start setting up those interviews. Mm -hmm. We'll make some decisions tonight about whether you're interested in doing having candidates visit the district or whether you're uh, interested in uh, visiting candidates' districts. In your packet on the right-hand side are uh, mon there, there are pieces that will help you with that. There are um, selected themes for questions. When we get there, we'll go over those. There are example and samples of questions that you can modify, that, that you can change in any way you wish or add your own. There's a candidate evaluation form, which, um, to be honest, people don't use. <laughs> but we can talk about developing your own. There is a, an, a, a piece on visiting a candidate's district, questions you might want to ask, things you might want to consider. There is a sample 
schedule for a candidate visiting your de district, and I'll talk to you about how that gets set up and, and, um, and how we do that. There is a sample, um, the sample sheets for the team that does go out to visit a district to use to, to record their feedback. And then there's a, a piece on once you have the superintendent in place, some decisions to, to ensure a smooth transition. So that's in your packet. We're not going to read them tonight. They're there for you to enjoy. There's also on the left-hand side of your packet, behind the timeline, is the community needs assessment report that you created. This is the successful candidate profile that the committee uh, put together and voted on. This is used as a lens when you are making some decisions about candidates, when you are formulating your questions, how we'll talk about how you can ask questions that will enable you to get at, uh, to, to um, make some decisions whether the candidate, which candidate most closely matches the needs of your district. Okay. Before I launch in, would you like a minute to look at the resumes? Or what would you like? So just so just so I'm clear, uh, 24 applied, nine were interviewed, six were moved forward. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, we don't often put those numbers out there. It's, it's, sometimes it's hard for if you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what's the pleasure of the committee? Do you want to take a few minutes to look at all these over? Do you have the wait? Next step? The next step is for you to decide what the next step is. The, the, everything is in public. You, you now have to determine your process for selecting your new superintendent. Usually it's an interview with a candidate. Reference checks begin now, now that the names are public. Um, we at NESDEC and you and I'm sure members of the public will now start calling people they know who know people who know and we will talk tonight about how that information gets back to the committee who's going to be doing what you don't want to have 16 people all calling you know the superintendent of school so it would be who's going to call whom um, we certainly will give you uh, Art and I will give you names reference names that you might want to call but you're free to call whomever you wish you just want to make sure that you're not all calling, five people aren't calling the same person. So it's, it's mm -hmm. so organizing for that. You have six candidates. Generally, an interview with the school committee is an hour and a half, no more than two a night. Now, uh, we were, you may want to have six hour interviews and then determine whether there are candidates, three, four, two, whomever that you want to move forward and have just site visits of a subset of the six and then have them back for another interview or not. Those are the decisions you have to make as a committee. Do you want to have all six candidates visit your district and you visit their district and have the hour and a half interview, you may, or would you like to develop a process for narrowing the number? What do people think? I have some thoughts, but I'd mm -hmm. like to hear what you guys think. I, I think we should narrow it before we do visits, but that's just... Because there's six here, that'd be a lot. I mean, you, you know them. To us, they're just names on a page. Right. So I think visiting all of them would be kind of yeah. tedious. Right. Yeah. I like that. I like what you had mentioned for six hour visits and then narrow it down from there. Just my six point. hour in interviews. Right, in interviews. So, what is our time frame? We have. Um, you have your time frame here. We have all of March. March. We also have budget all of March as well. In a public <laughs> hearing. Um, so, 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 so are you saying six? Evening, one-hour evening interviews, and and not doubling up. Or no. okay, no. 
doubling. Doubling. Oh, I, I know okay. personally I would not be able to do that. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do six hours. It would have to okay. be doubled up. So, I, uh, but I would think you'd probably do more, no more than two. Oh, right. We could you're doing an do hour. Three three. You, you do three and three, mm -hmm. right. Three and three, yeah. yeah. Two nights. Yeah. Do you think an hour would be good for, 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 for like the rest of the committee? Or? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think, you know, if, if you if you have some uh, chance now that we have the materials to review the materials and be prepared, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we can look at 60 minutes, maybe we, you know, schedule them maybe, you know, 90 minutes apart in case, you know, there's a, like, like if one started at 5, the next one started at 6.30, so if you add a little bit of um, overlap, then you could just do two. I don't think you'd want to do more. To just be fairness to all six candidates, mm -hmm. I don't think you'd want to, you know, just herd them in like cattle and, and, and run them through there. You're not, you're not doing anyone any good. So. Well, we've already, uh, Aaron and I have already had an hour with them, so I just wanted to hear from you if you think an hour is enough for you. So. I think an mm -hmm. hour is a good start, and then I, I would hope that, you know, through some deliberations that we could whittle, can yeah. win, win, you know, whittle that down a little bit and winnow it down. Um, and that's and where then, skill and then comes you'd in. you probably look at, okay, here are your true finalists, and we're going to right. make the appropriate visits and so forth. Because I, and I would, I would encourage as many, you know, if we can, as many that can go on the visit just to see that environment and, 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 and so forth. Because, you know, I can remember past that, that really wasn't the case, and it was kind of like, you know, the, not not that many members of the committee attended the. Uh, uh, the visits and the stuff. The site visit to them. To them. To them. Yeah. Now, Carolyn, do you also usually, uh, Dr. Burke, do you usually have, um, at, at some point, I mean, you could have the finals here, like, during a school day. Right. There's And there's a, a sample of what that might look like. There's a sample yeah. schedule. And I would work with uh, probably uh, Dr. Davis's um, administrative assistant and work. Yeah. We would set that up. Uh, with your guidance of what you wanted them to see. And the same way with a site visit. If you choose to do a site visit, I would set that up with the candidate. You would tell us what you wanted to see, what you wanted to have access to in the district, and then I would work with the candidate to get a schedule together for you. So now, all of your deliberations have to be in public. Mm -hmm. So this is where you as a committee are presenting yourself to the candidates and they will have, they'll have, a, one candidate will have access to another candidate's interview and to the comments that you make. So this is where the skill comes in. If a candidate, you have six, they're now putting their professional reputations on the line. Mm -hmm. And if a candidate comes in and he or she is a qualified candidate but not, in your opinion, a match for the district, that's all you need to say, you know, when you're winnowing down. Um, you, you can make, say, well, in my opinion, um, this, this candidate is not the match I, I would be looking for. And then, or, and speak to the candidate who is a match, rather than uh, going on and on about something negative about a candidate. Right. Now, how do we... If reference checks are being done, how do we share that with each other? Um, or like you said, you're, this is when well, people start if, if that know people. How are we sharing that? You can talk about that. If, if you have a, a concern that has come up about a candidate when you've checked references, you can say, well, I have some concerns and and or I don't know how you would phrase that. You, let's, it would take it some skill. It could be very kind of delicate because, right. I mean, once again, any of those concerns need to be substantiated, you know. That's right. Uh, in, 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 in truth. And you can or, call. Yeah. That's what Art and I are there for. So if you're making a reference check and you have a concern, you can call me. I'll give you my card. And you can call Art Betancourt, and we will look into it further for you. Um, we're also making reference checks. So so the, the up to this point, there's been no reference checks on any of these six. We know some of the candidates, but no, you can't. The screening committee was under strict um, 
confidential mm -hmm. go confidentiality. Mm -hmm. And they could only discover what's in the public domain. So they could Google, they could look on blogs, they could get information, and they could share that because it's in the public. If they found something of concern, they were to bring it to the group. And, um, in executive session. In executive session. Mm -hmm. right. You're not in executive session. So, so that we can't ever call an executive session to narrow down our finalists? No. I don't think so. I mean, you can ask your because, own Because, like counsel. you said, it's it's their reputation right. that we'd be speaking. And we them. we have. I mean, uh, this is part of what school committees do. And we've had instances where someone has made a statement such as, "Well, until I see all three, I'm not impressed with what I'm seeing on paper." Our phone rings the next day. Candidates pull out of the search. <laughs> they never get a chance to see the three. So. That's how, how sensitive it, it becomes at this point. And you don't want to have a superintendent that is not somebody that you're all going to get behind. I understand that. And a simple statement such as, I feel this is a very well-qualified candidate, but it's not someone I feel I could get behind as a candidate in this district. Um, OK? But with that said, how are you going to, what are you going to do with this? Do you, would you like to have the two nights of the sixth? I think so. Is mm -hmm. people, people okay with that? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? What? Two, uh, two nights of three? Three and three. <coughs> three one would you rather do three and two, three with two candidates? Well, uh, my, initial, my initial thought was that I thought two was uh, two candidates per night um, is, you know, appropriate. And if it's cost of three, now, I assume that these six individuals have been notified that mm -hmm. they are candidates. So that right. no one has no one has withdrawn. No. And no. okay. So and, and that's good. Um, I don't know I don't know how people feel about three nights, you know, if it was well, two I nights, just one throw week out, and then one night. If the we next have week. if we're gonna do an hour interview, um, so if you have an hour, say six to seven, and you had said a lot ninety minutes what are we going to do for that other half hour? Usually it's a 15 minute to get up and stretch and then the next person. Yeah, 15. I was just saying that if you, know, if you yeah. really had, um, had an engaging discussion with someone and you, and, uh, you know, but we could try to keep it to, to 60 and right. whomever's going to facilitate that probably just right. need to uh, keep, us, keep us true to that. But, you know, maybe that's what you do is like every 75 minutes. Um, Would you intend then for the candidates, for some number of the candidates to come back for a longer interview with the committee? After they were narrowed down? Or would we go into the um, site visits at that point? Because that could be basically an all-day interview. They're in. They're meeting with people. People get to talk to them about, right. you know, what it is they're bringing to the district. The only problem with that is if we're not all there, then it's not really an interview. Well, sometimes they spend the day in the district and then either they go to dinner with the committee or some members of the committee. Usually they come back in the evening for questions from the school committee. And that can be however long. And some districts actually then say the school committee is going to ask questions for an hour and a half, but you'll have already talked to them for an hour, so I don't know. And then um, they'll be... 15 minutes for questions from the audience. It, it was actually brought up wondering if there was time for public questions mm -hmm. in the interview. And, that, and they would be submitted. Right, you can ask the, for them to be could, submitted. Yeah, and then beforehand, and then we could we could have the index cards, and we could just read off, you know, three of them. Or, well, if someone's here observing and they ha end up with a question. They can pass it forward. They could pass yeah. it forward. Yeah, the only concern with that is you got to make, I think you want to make sure that the same questions are asked of all candidates. Each, right uh, now. Yes and no. You now, at this level, these candidates have different backgrounds when you look. Some are directors of special education, some are curriculum, one is a curriculum director, one is a, a principal, so that you'd have to say, what do I need to learn from this candidate? And it's perfectly fine to ask candidates specific to them, questions specific to them. Um, you can have your general core of questions 
but if you see somebody as a special ed director and somebody has doesn't have that background you can and you have some special education questions you'd like to ask you can ask spend longer on that question with one or it, it's, at this level it doesn't have to be the same question it doesn't have okay. to be the all same right. but you guys use the same questions for all mm -hmm. the candidates pretty much yeah okay. mm -hmm. So if we do, um, let's just say we do three nights of two candidates, okay? I'm just going to try to think out loud for a minute, so just bear with me. So if we do three nights of two candidates, um, and then from there we go, I'm just thinking out loud, from six to three, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and this is nothing, nothing's in stone or anything, it's just, just thinking out loud so I, I can understand the process from beginning to end. We go to three. Then we could go and work with those three to either go to their school and have them come here, or both, um, and then from those three, then make our decision. Again, all in the public. Um, is that, is that? Yeah, that, that, that sounds like it's a pretty, that's a pretty good plan. I think three, uh, three would be a, an appropriate mm -hmm. view. And, uh, so in terms of dates, if, that, if that's the model, what are we looking at in terms of uh, doing this? And then do we think um, doing both, going to their <coughs> school as well as them coming here for a day? Do you think uh, can we in agreement to do them both, or is someone stuck on one? I mean, I'm just interested. I in think one if it depends think, okay. on how many we get down to. If we get down mm -hmm. to two, it's obviously a lot easier to, to mm -hmm. schedule both. If you get to three, it's more challenging. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Do we have to make that decision? No, I, I think we, no. after we meet them, we know their strengths and more questions they might have. Yeah, I mean, I mean, make I mean people might back out through the process exactly. too, so we might, you know, we don't well, know. I, I would hate, to, I would hate to, but if we get to a, a set of finalists, whatever the number works out to be, I would hate to say that, you know, okay, we went off to school X Y Z, and he or she's our, our person, but they've never had really an opportunity to come mm -hmm. here. I think they have to. I think it has oh, to yeah. be. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, and I really think that, you know, the way, uh, Dr. Burke, the way you explained it, like, um, you know, it's an ex kind of an extended day that not only is the candidate, like, in the district, but also a chance to maybe break bread with the committee as well as be available for, y right. you know, a, if parents come to, you know, ask a question or a town official or something like that, that, it kind of you, you know, post it. It's a po it's supposed to be, but you know what I mean. You, you so post it as a, if the school committee, you know, members are going to be there. Then you, you post mm -hmm. it. Because really think about this. We're, we're, you know, we're hopefully picking the leader for uh, several years to come, as well as you know, we want to ingrain them into the community um, so that they, they there's a comfort level between uh, you know those in the community as well as the candidate. Right. So. So generally you pick someone, doesn't have to be a school committee member, someone to greet them when they arrive. One might arrive in the morning, one might arrive in the afternoon. You can have two people in the district at the same time, just make sure their paths. You, uh, they can have a parent coffee in the morning, uh, lunch with the administrators or a meeting with the administrators, lunch with whomever, uh, and you, they, they go around the district. They don't have to hit all schools, you can just say, at a particular school after school, there'll be a T for teachers. And generally, you keep those um, half hour, 40 minutes, just a meet and greet, some questions. You can decide the whole format. You can decide, is that person going to answer, take questions, or is it going to be casual, however you want that to happen. You don't have to decide that tonight. And, um, and then who's going to take them to dinner? Sometimes people say, We'll just give them the name of a good restaurant, give them some a break, or so the someone from the district was going to take them to dinner, and then somebody has whoever came in the morning has the early interview with the school committee, and then whoever came later has the later interview with the school committee, that type of thing. It's all different ways you can do it. So from a process perspective, if we go from six and we we're leaning towards three or two, right? We don't have to make any notification that we're working with these three or two. As far as we're concerned, that's that's candidate's pool is still the same. Well, is that correct. 
I think it starts right. to become obvious, though. Yeah, I think you, you I think you do. I think if you're going to just if you've got six candidates and you're choosing to do site visits for two. I would say you notify the other four. We would notify the other. That's four. kind of limiting, though, because what if we have two, and those visits don't work out, or one says, "Hey, I don't think this is the right fit mm -hmm. for me," mm -hmm. and then you go back to the four others and say, "We're just kidding. Right. You're still in. <laughs> right? Yeah, but Come then, on back. We love you." Yeah, but then again, that's exactly it, though. You know, the the die's been cast. You know, and I and I think, uh, you know, you know, then you're almost saying that. Well, I'm. I'm I'm the bridesmaid here, and I'm not interested, or the, or the groomsmen yeah, and, here. And, and, and I know in, bu in private that. business, that's not how you do it. You, they got 20 people. All 20 people are in there until they say, okay, this is our person. Yeah, and and that's, that's, that's true, it, too, as the school it, committee. Private, though. And, and we have to do our Very support. private. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, so, it's the school committee search, and you're not even under obligation to limit yourself to who the screening committee puts forth. I mean, you're, you are free to choose your superintendent. So I don't want to see those other eight <laughs> um, But. No, and we don't, we don't want to get into a, but, but if you you know, we don't want process. to get into a, a situation where, where some of the other districts have changed horses right. in the middle of the stream, so to speak. I mean, you can do your hour and a half interviews if you'd rather do that. Do an hour and a half interview with the candidates and then decide if how many at that point, how many you'd like to do site visits? If we're only going to do two a night, then we could do the hours. Just, just do that. And then after that, you can decide we're going to do site visits, and do we need to have another interview or no? Maybe you don't. Maybe you do site visits. You say, now we're down to these three. We're going to do site visits a day in the district and then make our decision. <laughs> it's, you can um, make decisions as you go. So other thoughts from the committee? I kind of like that, but I still think that when you get to, and I'm going to use the word finalist or the, or the, the last, mm -hmm. last couple or last three, that there is a component in the community um, at this level when they, when they could answer some questions from us as well as if there's, you know, any submitted. I mean, we're not going to be grilling them or anything like that and keeping it, but, you know, it's, it's it's the, going to be the school superintendent. So, you know, it may be as highly populated as it is here tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm hoping not, hoping not that you know some people will come forward. So I know uh, that. I have a question about the timeline with that. Um, here, here where it says so, this first agreement in principle with finalists, that that's already happened. Mm -hmm. The second agreement in principle with finalists, when does that does that typically? Um, that's narrow it down more. That, or is that's that when you have said, um, we. Would that be something that we we do when we say we're going to work with these three people, right. or is then that then we call and we talk to them about uh, making sure what is it in a contract? What so we'll say to you, this is what this candidate is expecting in a contract. We don't negotiate a contract, mm -hmm. but we give you a heads up. This is the type of thing. So we double check and triple and check. How many people is that typically it can done be, with? It's generally done with um, the final two or the final three. I'm sorry, what, what was your original question? That, I was I asking. You were asking something else. On this timeline, yeah. um, I was just trying to see where it fit into, if there was a spot where this would fit into us going from six to a smaller number. Mm -hmm. This. Uh, if you if you did your hour and a half interviews, deliberated, say I I think I would like to see a site visit. I would like to see a site visit to this person, this person, and you see that there's consensus. Um, and we, Art or I, can be here to. There's a process we can go through, or um, it might narrow itself to 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 two or three. Then that person is invited to do. A day in the district, and then something like you said, it might be that they come back, and there's a f couple of questions from the committee and questions from the public at night. It doesn't have to be a big. Well, that that night with the public, would you have all the candidates at one night? I'm just you can have it however you outside. wish. However you wish, it can be at the end of the day in the district. It can be. Um, one the public can ask questions during the hour and a half in, uh, interview sure. for all six if they want. Not, not really. Well, not unless you let, want them to. Uh, I think well, that's, I remember. That's they're going to give a, a written question. Right. But, yeah. Okay. After. After, after your hour. Okay. Yeah. 
I remember um, when we did um, the search for the principal at the high school, um, Mr. Dudek had come in and he had done a day in the district and um, there was time set, set aside, um, I think early in the morning for the teachers to ask questions. Um, and then there was um, a time set aside in the afternoon where students could come um, and parents could come. Um, so you could have, you know, that component to their day instead of doing it, you know, in addition, you can have it at, in the evening too, but, um, but it kind of broke it up and I think he had had lunch there and um, he met with the different department heads, I think, and there was that whole, um, so something like that, when they come into the district, you know, there can be time set aside for people to, to ask questions. Was it just him or were there other finalists? I only remember him. My only question with during the day is, is I'd like to hear what people are saying and if I'm not in the district during that time, I'm not going to be able to get the feedback, you know, from, from the parents. If there was an open time where we're here for a meeting, we can hear what they have to say and, and really get their feedback and the questions that they're asking because, you know, it, it might make me think of something that I didn't think of, but if I don't have that chance to hear, you know, what's being asked. Um, you know, because I'm not in the district that day, you know, I, I just like to, I would like to see it, you know, see us have a time set aside at night so that parents that are working can come in and ask those questions and then we can hear, we can hear what they have to say. Uh, along with our, uh, along with our interview, right? Right. It, and not, I, I, it's not a separate kind no, of. No, no. Okay. No, and actually I was, I don't know what our meetings look like. That was my, one of my questions I was going to ask, but I mean, could this be at the top of an agenda of one of our meetings so that we're yeah. here already and we can, they can have it during public forum and ask those questions or does that have to be, does it have to be another completely separate meeting for them to ask those questions? Well, you don't want to have a, you, you can't ask these candidates to constantly come into the right, district. Right, right. So I think it's going to have to be a separate meeting because we'll have our agendas. I know, mm -hmm. you know. But I think allowing the public to get up to ask questions and will actually make, would encourage their um, participation mm -hmm. in it. Right. And for ha to have them here listen to the interview and have their question, uh, that would be great participation. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the way I've seen it done in many other districts where, you know, the public is there. It's very well publicized. Mm -hmm. uh, the public, they have, you know, there's three or four questions that get, get brought up to the chairman through, through a VA index card, and then the questions asked. And it's not, we're not identifying Mrs. Jones is asking this. Some of them, these are some public questions that some of the parents have had, and, and you go through three, three or three, two or three mm -hmm. questions, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then you go from there because you know some many people might have the same question you know which is okay I just one more question have other districts had like a feedback some type of feedback you, you information sh where you can you, get you should you should um, have a different color paper maybe gray paper for one candidate blue, uh, green for another and have uh, feedback forms available at the sites where the candidate is going around and then those are collected. They have to be kept at a, li at a library. I mean, they're, they are open to the public so that, mm -hmm. uh, and we can give you a sample. A statement has to be on there that this is a public oh, document. Talking. Please don't write anything that's, uh, you know, shouldn't be in a public document. But people can give feedback. Just to encourage that feedback from, right. from mm -hmm. you Right, know. you can do any, any number of ways of, of them giving feedback, knowing, again, Everything is in public. So, wasn't there something from strategic planning? That was so, if, if we were to, if, if we, if we, there's maybe some of this, fine, uh, the the stuff, a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. so, you know, we'll, we'll need to just get fleshed out. Right. Yeah. But what's the what's the feeling of like, you know, when when does when do we start this process in? Well, tonight you should. Set the dates that you want to do the interviews. Decide for how long and how many on the night, where they're going to be, or who's going to make that decision and let me know in time to let the candidates know where they're going to be. We can talk about tonight we should choose the theme of the interview question that each of you are going to work on, a question or more than one question, and how that will look. And I can help you with that. Okay. Um, we have some decisions to make. We have to, um, let's see, 
the members of the screening committee will recognize this. Is there going to be a greeter? Where, you know, uh, is there going to be food? How, just how is the interview going to run? Um, do I need to tell the candidates to make sure that they pack a lunch, or is there going to be, you know, if they have to travel, how's it going to be? Mm -hmm. Okay. So first, let's say, are you thinking about um, three nights of to do your full hour and a half interviews? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, yeah, yeah. Yes. So we're, we're not talking about an hour interview. We're talking about an hour and a half. Well, uh, however, it, well, like an hour hour it's scheduled an hour and a half. We well, focus on an hour with follow-up, or up in an hour, and then the next one starts 90 minutes after. Yeah, the I think first having a stretch break, you know, between focusing on the, an hour, um, and then if, if like 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 Mike said, if it goes over a little bit, we can do that, but not really taking 90 minutes to do the interview. Yeah, because we we've got to be fair on time for right. everybody. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So so yeah, I think, an I think hour it, with a 15 minute overlap. Yeah. And then a 15 minute yeah. stretch. It's, like, break. it's yeah. like 70 minutes, 75 minutes is really the max. <laughs> and then we have that 15 minute stretch time. And then it allows that candidate to leave another candidate to come in and, 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 go, and go again. Mm -hmm. So, like so a 6 o'clock and like a 7 30 kind of a thing? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I would schedule them every hour and a half, and you would. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Like at the 70 minute mark, that's, we got to be wrapping up. Yeah. Um, okay. So, what, what about. We agree to two? Two people per session? Does that work for everybody? Mm -hmm. yeah. so I think, three well, I think it's going to come down to availability of, of us that, because now we're looking for three nights of Actually, commitments. Actually, four if we're talking uh, regular school committee meeting, too, depending on the week. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well. Well, next week we have a regular school committee, correct? Could we convert that to interviews, or do we have to have um, is there anything pressing on the I think there is. I think we wanted the band kids to come in. I think there was a few things in, in there's some budget things. Yeah, there's so I think, budget. There's, um, there's some big budget, budget stuff well, to I'm go. Well, I'm thinking, I, I am, I'm sure there is, but I'm thinking we can move that to the week after because our meeting is the 27th and we don't have anything until the public hearing. We're obviously going to have something in between. Well, I think we're going to need the 27th because we have to do really some, we have to really look at some numbers there and, it, uh, and start to piece this together. So it's going to take this soup. The super some time after that, when when the when the committee makes a decision on what direction it wants to take, because we we we've, we've kind of done the analysis in the back page and we're kind of pulling that all together. So I don't think he would pop. I don't think he'd be comfortable waiting any longer than that, knowing that we're probably going to need so some budget stuff. So we think in the stuff. first week of March. So getting... we we do the the. Uh, I'm just thinking fourth, fifth, and sixth. March. And we're not having anything budget that week. Not that I know of right now. Enough, uh, I mean, we ha you know that weekend prior we have the open I'm houses. Just I'm just concerned personally trying to get to. Well, we it, can we do one mm -hmm. next week? Sure. Nice. Could we do it? Could, nice could we do a Tuesday or a Thursday? Can't do Wednesday? Tuesday, but we already have day. Thursday. Okay. We have Thursday. Thursday is twenty seventh is our our meeting. Yeah. yeah. Is there another night that everyone's available at? I'm available on Wednesday the twenty sixth. I can do the twenty sixth. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. Wednesday works. Wednesday, Brian. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you want to reconsider and then do our to do three in a night or, or no? We, well, what's is the anyone available week? on Friday? Was well, our goal to get it done next week? The, the, it's, to oh, see it's the Friday state night. Uh, actually, bring her here. I'm, I'm concerned, <laughs> I'm concerned with doing three in one night. I think that could be too much. We could start earlier. We could start at well, five. I think if we did one no, next no, I'm week. not talking about fitting it in. I'm talking yeah. about uh, there's, right, there's yeah. a lot. That's a lot. If you have. Two intense interviews. That poor third person, you're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't ask another question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hello. I, I, I like did this. I like having okay. one next three every night. Well, how'd you feel? It actually, Some wasn't that exactly anyway. what you just said? <laughs> Was it? Yeah. See? So, all right. So, if we do the 26 <laughs> next week, mm -hmm. and then what is everyone's availability the following? I can't do Monday. I can't do Thursday. Thursday. I'm sorry. Just throwing it out so the fourth and the fifth, the 28th, Friday. Friday? Well, there I, were many I, Fridays involved no, in no, the last no, few weeks. No, because um, it, it's a, it's I, a, there's a big depot event Friday night. The 28th. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the so parents drives. wouldn't. So we're on for the 26th, right? Yeah. Is that 26th? 26th to 6th, where? Here? Here. Or in there. 26, 5, and 6. No, it's public. No, it's public. It's public. It's here. It's here. Public? It's here. It's it's here. This is probably where, because you got yeah. all the TV stuff. Yeah, this is has to be public. Can we do the 26th, the 4th, and the 5th? Because you I'm, have something We can't do the 4th and the 5th. Uh, I'm sorry. We can't do the 4th. We signed up for oh. 
That's the sixth, isn't it? That's the fourth. The park. You, you want to go fifth the and park. sixth? Um, I can't do it. MASC Park. Mm -hmm. Taunton? Mm, yeah. What are you doing? I'll be there. MASC? The park. That's the fourth, uh, so you're not available either. Um, I thought it was the sixth. I'm not available. No, it's the fourth. Uh, okay, how about the third? Monday the third. I can't do the third. What's the, what's the fourth again? I, I didn't. The fourth is a park dinner. A, a park. It's to talk it's about the park and the test. Yeah. You know, the PARCC. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. What about the fifth, fifth and sixth? I can't do the, the sixth. Fifth. How about the sixth and seventh? Uh. Those Friday. Can you do the huh? sixth, Diane? I can't do the sixth or seventh. Um. What about? Monday the twenty fourth. You going to uh, you going to um you going to Maskew Town meeting. Mm -hmm. Saturday you going to Maskew? No, Decca. No, no. Oh, Decca. Oh, okay. You can that's do whatever what the you want. Weekends are fine. Boston. Boston. The we state state state. Yeah. Boston. We're already tied up the first on the eighth. Although you if you want, it, you'd have to post it. But if you want to do a weekend, then you could do. Good afternoons on the first and the eighth. Right. Um, I I my daughter's in a play. Mm -hmm. um, See, this is when also when you're thinking about what we'd like to do interviews and we'd like to do questions from the public. Remember, all of that has to be scheduled, and that's the more things you have, the harder it gets. The so we're not doing the open house. Right. We're not doing the open yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. Made to we are doing it. Oh, we are doing the first, first and eighth. Yeah. Okay. So that's we, we definitely have the 26th next Wednesday. Okay. Um, Mr. Chairman? Yeah, go ahead. Could you? Could you check to see what the impact is on the uh, 27th, if there's, if he can keep the agenda light? I, I, I just know of the, the budget piece, and I don't know if that's we something we could. Can we change the time to that? Yeah. Back and then, up. Well, that like depends. Like at 5 or something? Like 5 o'clock. So at the meeting at 5? And then have our, our meeting? interview start at 6.30? Because it's all public, so it doesn't really, we can right. close our meetings. Meeting's a meeting, so it's all going to be on, on, on public, so. Would that give enough time? And can people be here for five? Because I know. How early? I may not get here at five, but you, if you have a quorum, you can start the meeting as long as I'm here for the interviews. I'll make it by six. I like to see the band kids' jackets. To be honest with you. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Did They're we say? Did we ask about the twenty fourth or the twenty fifth? We, we can't. Well, twenty fourth is a Millville Town no, meeting. Twenty no fifth, oh. uh, uh, I could do the twenty fifth. I can't do the twenty fifth. I can make a schedule change. I cannot I can do, do the twenty fifth. What do we say about the 28th? The 28th was out? That's a Friday. Well, it's a Friday. <laughs> oh, it's the BIPO parents um, event. For the so the parents wouldn't be available and to the yeah. public it viewers. So, uh, also a dance at the high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Winter ball. And right. the first week of March. We could pull up that so the third on the 25th? Five. Why don't we just do this? Let's go for starting with the third. Can, who can make the third? I can't. <laughs> okay. Who can make the fourth? Uh, you can't. Come on. Who can make I mean, I can, you know what? The, the park, yes. I, I, I can blow that off. I know, that does, that's not. I, I the fourth? The fourth? I I'm going to an MCAS thing on the fourth and the fifth, but it's during the day. So. Mm -hmm. well, what's well, the, what's the park? What, what is it, a seminar that MASC is doing? Mm. Are they doing they it at any time email. else? Hmm? Never Are they doing it at any other time? I don't know. Is that up in Marlboro? No, it's in Taunton. There's a couple days, but the closest one this year is Taunton. Well, let's just keep going. The right. fifth. fifth. I could do the fifth. I can do the fifth. Well, no, wait no. a minute. Somebody say no on the fifth, or did everybody say yes? I, I, I can get a babysitter. The fifth. Bring fifth. Bring okay, we got the fifth. <laughs> I right, so we got two that. Wednesdays in a row. Now. On. Option A and option B. So the fifth. And what was the sixth? So we have two dates. Do we want to do three and three? Um, the sixth. Um, the sixth we can do. It's the uh, uh, BVT budget. Can. Can. Nine is not available. Six or seven. Put this out. All right. So if we're down to two, should we do three mm -hmm. and two? Three one hour. I'll stop whining about that. If there be degrees, <laughs> that's what they want to do. Do you, do you we, see any issues we, with that I, happening? I, we have I think, think that if that you 12th, right? do an hour interview, you'll still have, have some questions 12th, right? that you want to ask yes. of yeah. some I'm people, mm -hmm. three Wednesdays and those uh, those are the people you're interested in. You may then, further on, maybe we could hold some dates and say, public you're going to do another a day in the district, oh. another time to meet yes. the committee, and some oh, questions from the group. I mean, ideally, if we do, hold on, hold on, hold on, we do an hour. We have a little bit of overlap. 
Thank you. Uh, so we, we could start, in this, if we started at 6, then we do 7.30, and we're into 9 o'clock to 10.30. That's a little... I just want to be fair to the candidates. Is is a nine o'clock interview? Is I don't know if I'd want to have an interview at nine o'clock at night. But do well, we ha do we have any luck with this Tuesday the tw the twenty fifth? Was that nine o'clock what date? I can't do it. You can't do it. I can't. So that's one, okay. All right. I, I, I'm, but the twenty seventh is an option. If am, we can am I move the only up. one on the twenty fifth? Because I I just have a doctor's appointment that night. I can change it. So hold on. If I'm the only one. I, I really can't. But. Mm. Can we do the 27th somehow? Like I said, if we do the meeting at five, interviews at six. That's what it. That's if we can get that. If we can get that meeting changed. I mean, listen. I I I, I think there's. I don't want to. I don't want to. There's a lot we of budget stuff we two. have to do in the last next but three weeks. But we'd only be doing, doing two. So if we move up the meeting, or interview someone at five, have our meeting at six thirty, interview someone at eight thirty. I don't know. I'm just. That might. So say that again. Yeah, Interview someone at five. Have our meeting at six thirty, and then um, eight eight. Well, eight, we can eight, go for eight. Eight, eight o'clock. Have someone do another interview. Just still crank through the meeting. We got no. I think you can do that, Mike. Or I mean, if you're going to do that, it's why wouldn't just you gets goofy. Yeah, it gets. You but you know, you know it's like okay, we're, we're not going to probably bring Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we could do we could do the meeting at five, and then six thirty. Stop the meeting and do the interview at six thirty to seven thirty. Then do six thirty to seven thirty. Then set another one at eight o'clock. I'm fine with that. So, so you have 26, 27, and yep. the fifth, and and the interviews on the 26th would be when. Um, six and seven thirty, right? Six o'clock, seven thirty. On the 26th would be six o'clock and seven thirty. Seven thirty. Same with the fifth. And on the fifth, six and six o'clock and seven thirty. Yep. Twenty seventh is the only. And then on the twenty seventh, it Let's would see. be. If we did the meeting first, then 630 Dr. And Davis could six thirty and eight. Six thirty and eight o'clock on the twenty seventh. Okay. As long as we start, the, well, we start the meeting at five o'clock, and, and we have ninety minutes to do the budget stuff. We'll go, you know, okay. uh, and then we'll start the interview at one six thirty and one at eight. Okay. Yeah, that, well, that gets, yeah, that's, that gets us on at about 9.30. Okay. That's probably not so bad. Are we scheduling, are we doing any other scheduling, like for what our and thoughts are on the site visits or anything right now? If you want like to, you can hold mm -hmm. dates. Tentative dates? At if you think that you're going to narrow it to three, um, you could pick. Are you going to do um, three different days? Might be two? a good idea so we can plan ahead. Yeah. Not, sort of not yeah, knowing who's going to way. fall into the right. spot. If, but. if you pick two days mm -hmm. that you were going to do site visits and night interviews, then um, you, you, that's potentially four candidates. You probably wouldn't narrow it to more than four. <laughs> no. No, I, 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 think, I think we have to be committed to doing three or two. <laughs> Yeah. I think we're at six now. Yeah. I think we have to go to three or so, two. Two, two, so two if you did two well. days, then you could have two people in the district on the same day just right. keep their paths mm -hmm. and then interview one at, say, 6 to 7.30. Have it 6 to 8. The, the committee asks questions of public. Then the next candidate is at 8.15 to whatever. You, I mean, or you can do it less time. But mm -hmm. you could, And so they, then you have those two two nights, you might end up with just two candidates, or you might end up with four, but you have those two days held. That, that's for them to come here. And that's typical for them to come here before we go to them? You can do it both and. You can be out going to the communities any time yeah. from now on. I, you know, at once, if you want to see all six communities, or if you want to wait till after the, yeah, on I, the fifth. I think, I think we're talking about going to visit the finalists. I don't think we're, okay. anyone's interested well, in Well, right now, these candidates are finalists. Okay. You're talking about narrowing the pool. But yeah, I, I, again, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking wrong here. Do we want to do thinking six of visits? What? Oh, the next, yeah. We were talking about not doing six right. site visits. No, I, I, only, I think we really, we, we, we winnow the, the, the field, right. and then we, yeah. on we the say, fifth, you decide. Yeah, and then the fifth, you decide where we're, where we're going, and fifth that gives us the week of the 10th. And the week of the 17th, potentially, so you, to do a site visit. So you can still make some decisions tonight about um, who, who wants to do site visits. Members of the screening committee can be invited to go along with you. Uh, what type of questions do you need answered? Who would be best to get those? 
how many school committee members are going to go? Are you each going to go to one? Or do you want to all go to all? Uh, are you bringing administrators with you? You, don't, you shouldn't enter the district with a, with a big busload of people, but you, you know you can bring. But that needs to be scheduled with them so they know. You right. Know, so they have. Their but while what I'm saying is that can start to take place any time after the fifth. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. so, we so, should so what do you see? At least it, the days. it can be it can be both and. She, I, uh, a question had been asked. Um, do we have to wait till after the day in the district to go out and see? No, you, it, things can be happening concurrently. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the asking? idea of going and visiting and then having them come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, just I to have too. some succinct kind of okay. way where a group of us or all of us go uh, and visit uh, the um, candidates we sure. want to continue to move forward. Um, and we do that. And then we have them come here. <clears throat> um, and there's some, some things in your packet that talked about who you might want to see when you go to visit, some mm -hmm. things you might want to look for. So you're going to do interviews, maybe then visits, you said, district visits. Well, what, what's the committee think about that? Uh, are, are, who is interested in going is, is um, I, I'm going to go. That will probably be when, when, like. I'd be challenged probably. Be, I, I wouldn't be as flexible as you guys probably well, would be, so. Probably, what, like the week of the 10th? Um, well, the 12th is our public hearing, correct? Mm -hmm. Um, I would probably think. Hold on, I gotta. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. MCAS. Typically, how many people would go? I mean, what do you usually say? Like, yeah. uh, well, sometimes there's two school committee members 18th, and. Um, 18th, 19th, 20th. Two can be more. Yeah, I can't do it. I gotta do it. You, you have to do post it. If it you know, if it's all of these things need to be posted, mm -hmm. so that people know who's going. I see. Um, I, I would look all. at. Maybe. Um, the 13th and 14th for site visits? The 14th uh, people, is um, possible. It's a, it's a PD day for us, but. To what? A, a professional, professional development, development day here. I don't know if that. Will so we're going there. Right. Or are you saying yeah, it's I'm to saying go to the going, district? Going. If they're going there, then they're going to come and see us that night. meeting the 13th? Right, no. 12th. Um, no, 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 no. It, 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 just, just for clarity, I think the, if my opinion was that we go and visit the people that after we do the round of mm -hmm. six, if there are people that we really are, are, want to continue to move forward, uh, we go and visit their, their sites first before we invite them back here. That would be a whole separate other day oh, okay, that gotcha. they would come back gotcha. here. Um, right? Am I thinking that right way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, so, who, so again, who was interested in going to? Okay. It'd be scheduling. I tr I'll try. Okay. I'll try. Um, Do we want to have anybody from your initial group come? I think we should open the invitation to them. Yeah. It's your decision. Search committee. But I think we've got to be I, I, careful. Uh, you got to keep, keep it a small number. We've got to kind of keep it a concise people. number. We, you know, they, you know I, I don't want to, you, know, you know, whatever, um, whatever you think is appropriate, but, you know, we, we don't want to. If you have four candidates in two days, then two of you might go to one district, two of you might go to another with one group of people. And one. you don't all have to go to all districts. And it's really out of the search committee, the um, screening committee's hands already, though. It's ours now. So right. you wouldn't bring them along yeah. anymore. I, just a suggestion is um, you could do um, some of the administrators. Perry? I don't I think know he wants to be involved. involved. I don't think so. At all? I don't think so. I, I, I don't know. If I we're think. on our own at this point now. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, but any of the administrators might want to go out and. Um, what were the two dates? Well, you had mentioned the screening committee. Yeah, 13, you 14. can bring members. You, I mean, we you can bring them to. We could just see who. You can bring a director of special ed to ask, or a, a someone from the community that you feel has a real business acumen, you know, that you want to ask business questions. You can bring whomever you wish. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, think, I think we should think about that. I think we should try to come up with some dates, think about that, because um, I, I, I have some pros and cons about that, you know, um, in terms of, you know, I don't want to bus load, I, 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 you know. But we could, I mean, when you open the invitation and then, or say we're looking for two volunteers, 
please let us know if anyone wants to do that. If we get more, then it's our choice to. Or we just say the first I, I think it's commitment. important to make to let the public be involved, not just feel like they're involved, but be involved in it. And but I think the public's opportunity to meet the candidate and interact with the candidate is here in the district, not necessarily going to there. Going to there. So it's usually a, a fairly small amount of, uh, you know, a. Uh, of group of people, you know, in the past, like, a, you know, just a few people right, that kind of go, you know, in other words. I think it, there were some pretty um, dedicated people on this. I don't think we'd open it to the public, I but these, I, I this small group that already gave their time, and maybe I'm, maybe they take the opportunity, maybe they wouldn't. I just, I think the option should be there. Well, if they, I also think that that's why we need a feedback form. So that if they do want to voice their opinion, you know, mm -hmm. even though mm -hmm. they know it's public, that we have a chance to see that that information, um, you know, because I guess that's my question: is when you when you the select few do go out to their site visits, when you come back to communicate, you're communicating the positives of what you saw mm -hmm. and what you like to see. So you're gonna we'll hear the positives of all of the not the not necessarily. There's a visiting team evaluation form. There's a sample of types of things you might want a lens you might want to look at. When, when I'm talking about not being negative, I'm not saying don't be realistic. You might say, you know, we went out with some specific questions to, uh, and things we were looking for in special education, and um, on the day we were there, we didn't see indications of that. Right. Or we, right. we, you know, you might bring someone. It depends on the level of interest and expertise on this committee. If you think, what is it that we need to find out when we go to get a district? Are we going to get a sense of the district? Or are we going to find out? Does this, how does this person do a budget and which one of us when we get out there would be able to determine that? What do you want to find out from the district? Then you decide who you're going to bring. And it could be different people because these all have different jobs. Mm -hmm. You might bring different people to, depending on who your finalists are, you could decide then mm -hmm. who's going. And I, I, I see the point of not bringing a large group, although if it ends up um, larger than you think you really wanted, you all can split up, and it would just you split it up. would compact your time in the you district. Mm. So if you know, I wouldn't think six, but say you ended up with six, two can interview, you know, several people, two can interview several other people, and then you'd be out of there, and you know, two can two can talk to the town administrator or the finance committee, two mm -hmm. can be over talking to principals, two can be. So yeah. that so that's you know if you put it out to the I think you know I don't see a problem putting out to the screening committee I don't know who would who would step up but again if you get more people I think just split up the group so you're not kind of you know overpowering them you can wander around you can go and sit in a diner and public <laughs> you just can't deliberate on the car ride home you can do right. it. everybody take separate cars. <laughs> This search is run on Duncan. <laughs> so you're saying you'd like to have your interviews, then the week, that's week of the 13th, 14th, would be you're going out, whatever days those are, and whoever goes. And then the following week, um, the 17th through the 21st, would well, be the 17th week. 17th is a national holiday, so we can't have to any on the 17th. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. Hmm. Um, that week, anyway, would be the candidates in your district, and then okay. the following week. Yeah, mm -hmm. then that's the week that um, you could very well make your decision. Well, we already have a meeting that nineteenth to vote on the from the public hearing. That Wednesday the nineteenth. Next twelve is the twelfth. I'm sorry. No, I was asking for that the date, but you just said it. Um. So if we do site visits 13th, 14th, um, um, I mean, even if we hold off a week and do the week of the 24th for have candidates come to this district, or well, how do people feel about that? Do you want to do it that following week and really have the second week and then, yeah. you know, because then I think, I think after that, and just in terms of process, if that the week of the 17th we have uh, uh, candidates come and spend the day in the district um, following that we'll be meeting to make a decision mm -hmm. well we could definitely 
use that week of the 17th to the 20th, 21st to for them to be here, be in the district. Mm -hmm. And the week of the 24th would be the deliberation and final among you, the committee, you, which will have to be you, public. Obviously. You want to be aware that some of these candidates might be another, right. mm -hmm. and that you could lose them if you go yeah. too long. But you right. No, that's a good point. Could, can we do all that the week of the 17th to 21st visits and negotiations? You that? you could, could wrap that into if one week? if you said um, there's going to be three or four probably three or four candidates who are going who are going to visit your district two a day during the week of the 17th to the 21st, with, followed by an evening of some brief questions at how if you had questions left over or something you wanted to del delve a little deeper with the committee and from the public, however you want to do it. It would be that week or the following week. Right. I mean, I don't think we're doing negotiations then. Yeah. I think we, we I think there's an offer pending negotiations and then we go into negotiations. Right. Yeah. Yeah, are you talking about negotiations or deliberations? <coughs> Both really. I think you said yeah. negotiations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the negotiations. But, yeah, I don't want to think out too long. I mean, because this will have been. Well, our goal is April 1st. Yeah. And I think if we stick with this timeline, I think we'll be able to uh, be prepared to offer somebody the position and then going to offer them pending negotiations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Am I thinking? Mm -hmm. Say so just back that up just one second. Go ahead. I was I so followed if we, if and we, I if, if, I if we follow this process, I'm only responding to what, what yeah. Steve said in terms mm -hmm. of we would do negotiations the week of the seventeenth. I, I don't I, I think we offer the end of this end of our process is we offer someone one of these candidates the position mm -hmm. pending negotiations. We don't okay. we don't have yeah, to wait. Saying, yeah. mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that, that's, that's what really but, what but some of this will be I mean, if you get to um, after the fifth and whatever you've winnowed this down to, mm -hmm. uh, and then the thirteenth and fourteenth of the days that we, we visit yep. um, X. Yep. And then X visits us the following week. Now do we I guess it would depend on the number uh, and how good a juggler we are. Do we bring them both in this, you know, do we bring X in, I said both, I didn't mean to say that, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we bring X in on one day and do it all in one shot? You can. You or mean, do we do like You might X have a candidate that you're all just so crazy about that at the end of the hour interviews that you say, wow, we'd offer, you know, it's been known to happen. So you, you have to be open to, to adjust. Mm -hmm. But, but in the, in and I was just thinking that, like, you know, if if the committee needed to deliberate, if they needed to review their notes or make the pass, that we we still would have the week of the twenty fourth. Right. But hopefully, we roll that all up in the twenty first, uh, or by the twenty first. Mm -hmm. no, no, it's Friday night, state night. So sorry. All right. I'm just trying to. I know we're talking about all this. I'm trying to pull up the MCAS schedules because that, oh, I, that I, I have it. If okay. you want it. Because that, uh, to me, that affects them. Well, affects the us. site visits as well. So because uh, you you have teachers tied up right. with that. Well, the dates that I gave the 13th and 14th are not MCAS dates. Anywhere. Um, no. the, the MCAS dates but are the following week. That's us visiting them. But that that's us for visiting them to come them. here. Correct. So, so for the, them to come here. That following week um, is uh, the 18th. 18th is MCAS week, 18th, 19th, and 21st. Mm -hmm. So that really, I don't think that's fair to the, peop to the people in the buildings to have Well, visits. I mean, that's really just the morning. So we could do something in the afternoon, have someone come in the afternoon. Um, and then the afternoon, it's really just kind of the stragglers that are still finishing the test. It's not, I don't think it would, it would I mean, there's a lot going on for administrators then, too, at the high school and, 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 and everywhere else. That's who but I'm generally, thinking. that's done by... Um, it's done by the noon, because yeah. I'm, I'm one of the ones that run around like like a crazy person. So what so what I so what I want someone to come in, in to do it, right? That's what I what I want someone to come in. It's a it's a fair point. Yes, it's a fair point. In the would you want yeah. someone to come in <laughs> after that no. long day okay. of making sure? So why meetings. should we do? Why would we do that to our administrators? Well, I, I think if, if when we do then, have then the it's next a time crunch. It is a time crunch. Well, you're also oh no, um, you don't know the candidates that. Are coming to us if they have MCAS during that week. There too. are some that are principals, and, right? And yeah. they're going to be having to handle that situation. And <laughs> is, are there any MCAS what, what at all the week of the twenty fourth? What's the MCAS? Yeah. What, what test are there is any it? MCAS the week what, of the twenty fourth? What test is it? It's the ELA long term. Well, you term know, I, I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. First of all, we don't know how many candidates we we're going to end up with. 
We don't know where they're going to be located. We don't know what their schedules are. There's a but lot it would be of really unknowns nice not here. To have to do this again but but you know, I know, but but until we get to the point where we know some of those unknowns, right. how can you schedule it? You can't really. Well, it's, I think well, it's more scheduling right. for our. Like, yeah. So we know if if we can well, fit we, someone in on yeah, that. Yeah, we day. know. Our date is April first. You can by April first, this has to happen, so we get to back everything off. Yeah. We you know within those two weeks. I May mean, I think we can say the twentieth, the the tw Thursday the twentieth, uh, could be a possible site that. visit here. You know, there is no MCAS going on that day. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think right now it's just a possibility, you know, I think to have some framework in here where that could be. I just don't think we should spend too much time on this because we're not even. But, but, we're not, uh, but we're so it's far going from, to be based on their availability. But, Brian, the flip side of that is you can't wait too long because then we'll lose candidates. Right, so that's right. right. But I'm if, saying if, if, we, if we set a date of April 1st. We know certain things have to happen the two weeks previous to that mm -hmm. because we have all this other activity up until those two weeks. So are those two weeks are going to have to be scheduled once we know who, who they are, where they are, and when we can do it. Right. Are there but if any you MCAS the week of the 24th? That was, I can't, for some reason, the calendar no. won't open. I mean, the uh, uh, 24th is a makeup day, you know, if there's, if there's, but those, the are, those are low. There's, okay. I'm talking about my district. So I don't know about, yeah. you, you know that you will have it probably at least two candidates that you're going to have site yeah. visits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that if you pick two uh, days, then you'll either have one each day or we can cancel one, or you'll have four some some number less than four, so two and two or two and right. one. Right, I and mean, I think if we said the twentieth, we could have easily have two people in the in the in the district, as long as the two different ends of right. the district. You know, like and like that you might be said. the only what's, day you need if you don't. What's the problem with the twenty first or second? Uh, twenty first is a is a is a MCAS day. Oh, it it's is. A, it's a third session of the reading. Mm -hmm. um, uh, or, or you know, or quite honestly, we could just say the twenty fourth and twenty fifth. That Monday, Tuesday is the is the. Um, mm -hmm. Is the site visits for the district, and then the night interviews on those days. Um, yeah. What what would that look like for people? Twenty fourth, twenty fifth. Well, yeah. Let's see what okay. the availability is. They're wide open. I, I wouldn't rule out that week of the seventeenth because, you know. I, I, well, let's say yeah. let's say twentieth, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth. Yeah. Well, give me this, but it's like once once you, once you're rolling. Yeah. You know, you don't mm. you don't want to take a break. Momentum's right. a, momentum's important. Yeah, you know, and, the, and then the other thing is, it, it, once you have the momentum going, you know, you don't want to potentially you take a break for a week. Somebody gets cold feet or gets another opportunity or something like that, and then you know we, we don't want to be in that situation. So I think once we once we kind of commit, we gotta we're gonna yeah. finish it. So you have a hold on the 13th and 14th for people who want to go out and see candidates at, in their district. Mm -hmm. You have a hold on 20, 24, 25. Yep. For them some combination of which you'll use for d c candidates yeah. to come here and then maybe have an interview at night. So at least you've got a hold on the date and you can make some decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So moving right along, would you like to go to the next decision you have to make? Sure. If you look in your packet, there's a list of themes um, for questions. I've moved my packet all around now. I don't know what I did with it. It's themes for interview questions. It should be on the right-hand side. It's by no means an exhaustive list. This also some sample interview questions in your packet. In an hour interview, how many questions would you say, um, Aaron and Diane? We did a dozen. Dozen? Usually a dozen in, in an hour? In an hour. That's pretty good. Usually the school committee questions are a little more in depth. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's eight of us. I we did a dozen questions. without any follow-ups. No, no. Quite to that times we had follow-ups. Not, not to the at question. That time. Did you have a timekeeper? Did somebody keep things moving? Or oh, they were warned. We ahead all of time kept they looking. They were told that this <laughs> get an hour. <laughs> 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 for this, we're going to have a timekeeper. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 we, we, can, we can talk about that. Maybe we should talk about that. If the interviews are going to be in this room, in this type. One of the things that I recommend always is having a clock in the line of vision of the candidate so that they see the clock. Um, it's, it's over here. It's yeah, I, see the, I see the reflection of it, see. Mm -hmm. But uh, so that they have a time, or else <laughs> put 
can we have one? Well, we can probably yeah. well, yeah. we, 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 we can find one. I mean, we'll I take a great there. big you watch. Get a $5 clock and check it yeah. on the wall. So you have, uh, uh, and, and then uh, any person, usually the chair, has a softball question. We can talk about what that might be. Welcomes the candidate and sets the tone of saying, you're here. Um, we have, we've set aside an hour. We have each of us eight members. You know, we'll be asking questions and some, possibly some follow-up. You know, so that the, they know they know what's coming mm -hmm. and they know that if, and it's telling sometimes if the person then takes a half hour to answer a question, that's mm -hmm. indicative right there. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can offer an opening statement, a closing statement, a questions for us, depending on time. Right. Know. Um, and we always say for the opening statement, be very careful not to give control of the interview back to the candidate. Yeah. So you might say to the candidate, um, we've allowed maybe two or three minutes if there's something that you'd like to say as an opening. Or you can wait and at the end ask a question. I like to ask, is there anything um, that we didn't ask that you wish we had? Or is there anything about your candidacy that you feel you'd like? Or any questions you have, whatever you want to say at the end, um, and give them more time there if you need it, rather than too much time up front to take it away from you with the questions that you have to ask. And when you write your questions, usually you have something you're trying to get at. You'll have read their resumes. You might have a question about that's particular to them, perfectly okay at this level. Or you might have you're listening to hear a particular thing and you're not hearing it, you, that pr you might want to redirect or ask a follow-up with some candidates. You've heard it, you don't need to, or you say, gee, when you asked your question, mine was answered. Or mm -hmm. So you have to be able to um, decide who's going to make those. The chair might say, uh, call the order of the questions or how that's going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a particular theme that you want to write your question around? And what, you can look at these and see. And when you're asking a question, you just ask a question. Usually you don't make a speech. Um, you, you don't say something, you know, here in Blackstone Millville, we really believe that all children are special. Do you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you want to draw it out of them. Right. Wait, ask, a question. right. ask the question. Ask a question. Yeah. Yeah. So you, what, are you asking us right now to kind of? Well, yeah, I think you should. I think you should. should sort of pick a yeah, you should because you're going to have candidates here on the um, the 26th. So one of the things that you you'll need to do between now and the 26th is write your question, and then um, I don't know what process, Emma, you might want to recommend. Well, I just I want I do want to say that this really did help with what we did. Um, it would be helpful. I don't want to ask the same question well, that you guys oh, already yeah, asked. Absolutely. Yeah, right? Is this the list you worked from? Uh, this list right here. Yeah. Is the list no, of the theme theme. About the, oh, when you're oh, on no. the screen. No, they wrote them out. Oh, this is the theme. Oh, you used the theme. I mean, there were. Um, is it appropriate that I send out the list of questions that were asked? Yes. You can? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's what saying. The same list. But we made our own, we wrote our own questions, so I don't think you will ask the same question. I think that would be improbable. But you have the list of questions that you asked. I would just send them out to everybody, just so um, we don't. So are we thinking eight questions, one for each of us? No, we can share those. Sure. You and can and share then maybe them. a follow-up. Usually follow -up. you wouldn't right. send them you know, out coming off their email, resume or something. Cast them yeah. Out. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. So who wants to um, the pick the theme? Did you want to yeah, do answers. like a curriculum one or you I should? <laughs> yeah, I, I would do <coughs> curriculum or even um, problem solving or even conflict. All right, we'll pick one. one. I like curriculum. All right. Done. Erin, do you have a, a theme? That's a good one. Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> put me down for like personnel. Ironically, like personnel communication and, and gaining support for schools. Say again, I'm sorry? Communication, gaining support for schools. Okay. Mm -hmm. Diane? Um, I'll do accomplishments and challenges. Mm, I like that one. What did you do? 
Brian? Curriculum. Uh, problem solving. Uh, Mike? Um, no, she took the she took the communications one, you know. And she, oh, sorry. Uh, I, I probably very, budget, but I'd also you, like you to throw in maybe making? something like vision, and no you know vision in general. Vision in general. Yeah, you know, you know, you know that Wendy. I need two. So I think I mean. We'll go ahead. I I, I, I don't mind moving to decision oh. making. No, that's fine. No, no, no. Go, go for I, it. I, I, what I think vision should be on there. I don't. Yeah. I like well, planning. So part of that. Planning, like planning slash. Yeah, vision. yeah. Planning slash budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that you're doing budget slash planning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Steve. I I did um, PD and uh, personnel. It doesn't matter what I mean. I can do conflict dispute resolution. You want to do the vision question, or is that going to? No, I, 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 it's that? fine. Let's, let's go. I mean, hopefully, I mean, everyone's going to get their questions to everybody. Correct? Are we going to get one list of questions? Well, so we it's can have? it's again. You have to do all of your all of this in public. So if you are writing a question, um, you can all send them to one person to to print to, out to print or, out, or type mm -hmm. out the person you choose but you can't send them out to everybody to get feedback you know right, you no, can't all just, send so you can just so we can have the sheet on one right, sheet right, yeah right. No, no no discussion about the question that you write just get the question to me I'll put it on one sheet and then we'll be prepared for the for the um so you how so you have all the questions when are they shared with everybody else if it, ha night. If it can't be that night you have to you you can't do it the way it, there's no um when it, you can d meet before the first candidate like on the 26th you can say we're going to instead of having the first candidate come it's oh uh, you th if the first candidate is coming at six you can meet at five or five fifteen to make sure that you've got your ducks in a row that's probably a good idea to make sure that you have your questions ready and and everything, and I don't know whether uh, we we'll already know our own questions. I mean, but question. we're not we're not, we're not deliberating questions. I mean, we can we can share. But the point the was brought up right, that you don't want to ask the same question right? that's been can't, asked. Can't, like you'll know if they're doing informational e email saying this is the informational the email. These are the questions. We, 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 we'll we, see you we, we can review at five fifteen. Right. Uh, uh, the process of the night. Just right. don't just don't respond to them. That's all. Just yeah. don't just right. don't yeah. editorialize on what it is. And the other thing is. Who's doing curriculum development and implementation assessments? Anyone take that? Wendy. I am. I, I think maybe, not to stretch it a little bit, but maybe the tech integration, just to roll that into, um, into that a little if bit. If we wrote our own questions, could we send them just to get feedback from you yes. on the questions? You can send questions. You can send. I'm going to give you <coughs> you, can, you can do that if you want. Um, that looks like it might be three questions, Mike, for me. <laughs> Is that all right with you? A long one. Uh, I, one know, well, I don't know. Actually, Someone of me, and I'm the technology. senior member here. You know, I think I think I should <laughs> get the three. Well, Say again. Well, somebody have accountability. Well, we don't have to hit every theme. No, but I was it thinking might, that that, across, that could tie into problem solving. Problem yeah, solving. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think so. right now. One of the one of Kathy. Right. Right. Yeah, we have to get one to Kathy as well. Another another question. Is she going to participate? One of the things that you're going to want to do is to use this interview. You want to ask questions that are going to allow you to narrow to to narrow the field. So you'll get another bite of the apple um, if there's something that you haven't asked. But when you read the resumes, after you've read the resume and after you've looked through your packet and and looked at the successful candidate profile, then write your question because it will influence how you ask the question of a particular candidate. Mm -hmm. You might. Good point. Um, yeah, it's a good point. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it, it is home. So we're not asking the same questions to every candidate? You can ask the same thing. It's a yeah. very diverse group. Yeah. I know. So you want to, I think. Okay. Should we have a question one and a question two, candidates. you know, just to have that flexibility? So you, it, it is somewhat the same, but they're just, mm -hmm. I don't know. 
But they're really open-ended questions. It's kind of like you. Here's the theme. Right. You tell me. What do you do in this area? So, the, so I'm just saying, problem solving. You know, can you give me an example of a that problem that you email. work <laughs> through, and, and how did that happen, and what were the results? And and there's there's one exactly like that on this. Um, I mean, these are really good too. Yeah, they're Based good on. questions. The sample ones are good. Yeah. I mean, I can send you guys some links too to Wellesley interviews, Beverly interviews that are all up on YouTube. You can watch a whole school committee ask questions to superintendents mm -hmm. and, and how, how they do it. I mean, they're, they're, they're up there. But I think the question that you were just wondering is we're not asking the same question to everybody. That was the original question, right? right that was my original question, yeah. Well, we could, couldn't we? You could. If it's open-ended, if you said, if I said problem solving, tell me an experience you mm -hmm. have problem sure. solving. You know. Well, that's and an open-ended question. the feedback you get from that person could lead you to you to a follow-up question. Yeah. Right. Well, I think you have some candidates that don't have, haven't been through a full budget process. So obviously, that would be a very important question for that candidate versus another candidate who hasn't done right. curriculum. Right. That candidate, you really need to pull out what they know about curriculum and that. So it's a very You'll diverse You'll set yourself when you, when you do read the resume and the, right. and the packets. Right. It, right. It'll come to you. you know, you'll and, figure out where the... And that's where yeah. you can leave some to the discretion of the chair, the order of the questions. There might be a candidate where if you say, gee, if we don't get to all questions, yeah. we really do need to yeah. ask the curriculum question of this person, and we really do need to ask the budget question of this. Yeah. And that's where you have that 15 minutes in between candidates or whatever where you say, let's switch it up and, and go with Brian's question first this time or Diane's question first. I don't want to make yeah. it more complicated yeah. than needs be, but there'll be some question if the person is a special ed director that you're not going to ask the same. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. We, we actually didn't vary the questions so much as we varied the order. Um, can we backtrack for one second? There, um, just some of the dates we just picked. I was finally able to get to some of the MCAS schedules for here. And on the 20th, there are grade four and five ELA comp session ones. So I just would like to scratch that date. I can't even get to the high school. In the well, that's that's those, those are, are all days, tentative. But those are days that we would go. They no. wouldn't. They wouldn't be coming. No, those yet. would be. No, thirteenth, no, fourteenth, year. Twentieth. The the so far the twenty fourth and fifth are just like you said makeups, but mm -hmm. the twentieth are scheduled dates for actual. Mm -hmm. So we'll take the twenty fourth. We'll go with the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth. Yeah, 24th is just a makeup. That's just that's the 20th makeup. is definitely. So, but the 20th is an is a actual ELA call. Right. So you'll ha you'll have to make some decisions. You'll have questions prepared for the 24th. 26th. 26, 5, and 27 of f February, March, early, and then you'll you can decide whether you're going to ask different questions or expand what what you're going to do when you have uh, the 24th and the 25th. So again, I would say, when you're scheduling, give yourself, you have to make those decisions and write those questions. It's complicated. Well, I think, I think they just have to be building blocks, <coughs> you know. Right. Um, the, um, right, those questions may not come until we've right. sat with them for the hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, on the 26th, are people able to be here? Um, what's a good time for us to arrive? If the candidate, the, the candidate interview time is six o'clock, so they'll be here by five forty-five, okay. uh, e easily. Um, could we say we're here at five fifteen? Is that is that five fifteen? Looks sure. yeah. Which day are we talking about? That's next. the this next Wednesday, the twenty-sixth, to do the for interview, first interview. First interview is at okay. six. Get here like well, quarter past just five. Be getting here cause I have Wednesday okay. Put our heads together. Uh, I would say between five fifteen and five thirty, just so we okay. can we can have five or ten minutes just to talk about the order of the night. Um, like who the greeter would be, who you know, so on and so forth. Um, the, the, I think you have to. Five fifteen to five thirty. Yeah. I think you have to make a decision about the greeter tonight. Um, are the candidate, I can tell the candidates they're coming to the same place where they had their s screening interview. Do you want them to? <laughs> to the front this time. Go to the front door. Mm -hmm. 
Um, they could go into that room. They could go into the conference room. Do we need a waiting area, or do they come right into the... You don't want one candidate listening to another candidate. So we have the conference room for waiting yeah, room. With the door. And is, some, the door is somebody going to be in there with them? Are you going to have water and cookies? Yeah, no, we'll definitely have water. Now we're turning the heat way up and the lights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think at this point, if they know. come in the front of the building, um, we could even keep them in the office. You guys know them. So do you guys want to be one of the greeters? The only problem with that is that means we leave one of the interviews to greet the second person. Right. So we why don't we get, see about... Get a pair or something? Well, no, we'd have that 15-minute window. <coughs> I'm okay can, with can it. Can we get one of the students, like Tom or uh, Morgan? It can, it can be somebody from the screening. It can be... A, if, if, you don't, if you don't mind, you can designate a person here just to work that out with me offline. Um, mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Because I think the second interview, we're going to have that 50-minute window. We're pretty committed to 70 minutes is our, is our, our, our threshold. And then we have tw that person will be getting here, you know, 15 who minutes do, before. Who do uh, other districts have as greeters? Do they have a school committee meet member? The do they have a Generally, once it's public, you can have anybody. You can have a secretary. You can have an administrator. You can have a, 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 a it's always fun to have students. It's always fun to have like dr the drama oh, club or the something. Well, you could you could ask student council or the honors. Yeah, but we're on a, a lot of off days too, so we might not necessarily have. And if students. it's one of you, then in that 15 minutes, you would. But if the person arrives early, you need to have signs. There's no one greeting. Yeah. So why don't we take it away from the committee and see if we can't? We had Sulevit had come in. And she had either that, yeah, either that or maybe some wh whatever you know, whatever, for some some staff member. Gee, if it's or, your date night, maybe your date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure my wife would appreciate that very much. All right, so who is the uh, the Who's greeter my, then? Let's just find, let's just talk about this right now. Is it one of you guys, or what are we doing? I don't have a doing? problem doing it. Thank you, Diane. I'll, I'll, I can always see if my daughter will come in. She wasn't very receptive the first time around, but. Why don't we just p ask someone from the screening committee if they want to? They are familiar with the candidates too. So that's why, I'm, and they already know. You want to nail it down so tonight? No, I'm going to let you guys work that up. You work, can work that out with. I'm kind of. I, I was yeah. looking forward. We to might it. end up with three different <laughs> greeters for the, each yeah. night. One for each that's night. Fine. That's a big commitment to someone too. So, but that gives us a big pool of people to work with. Really? Oh yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. So well, they'll, I think, I think I not, nobody I'll just say to the candidates, you'll be greeted. Right. And you guys will figure that out. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, um, and then if you provide water for the candidate, make sure it's fresh water for each candidate. <laughs> <laughs> tap water from Millville. No, I, I mean Wait, not like the same bottle. No, oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. This is we just were good about things. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no, we didn't. You know, but but I mean, you don't want lipstick on the glass from the previous candidate. Maybe we just could get a deal on some of that Millville water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oops, sorry. That, that could sorry. be a. No, uh, gonna get no, okay, there's, there's nothing, nothing wrong with the milk and water. Will they the drink the water? I hear that. That's the good. Candidates were very. When, when we called candidates to tell them that they were finalists, they were thrilled. People were very impressed with, with your group. Felt welcome. Well, one of the things we did too is Justin put together a um, a video of the district, so this they had table that to is still watch. Set up. This was our yeah. We had information about film. each that school set up, mm -hmm. so when they came in, they had that. We did have you know snacks and it was done right. We could ask him. It's his. It's his baby. Is he back yet? Well, he could he could get somebody to yeah, agree. Yeah, two weeks. Justin, but he might he might have somebody like that. Agree. Yeah, but he also might. Be up to be able to get. He has to get out of here now. He has some more. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think we need him. But I think you know. I mean, wh whatever. If you want to give it to us and figure it out tonight, or we can figure that out tonight if you want. I wouldn't mind sending an email to the com the screening committee. Or does any is anyone any that does not want that to be? You can you, if you want to take we'll that on there and firm that up. So you sure. can yeah. Okay. Have, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I will schedule a person for each night. All right. So you've got. You're, you're all going to go home and work on your questions, or two or three, or whatever they are, and you have your follow-up. You're going to send those to the chair. Um, By when? Monday? Because Wednesday. That, yeah, because we're interviewing Wednesday. Right. Yeah. I guess we have to. By can, Monday. Can you throw us the uh, interview questions you already asked? You, uh, so you have your resumes to read. You have your questions to write. And, um, and we should send them to you. I mean, if we're changing our question a little bit, it should be, you know, 
to this person, this is the question, so that yeah. you have those. Yeah, you're probably go yeah, you're probably going to have to. You, you know, it's just slightly. You know, I don't think anyone's going to sit you there and say you, you, you didn't say it the same way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've been through enough to know uh, that. Um, you you look to the chair and say I have a follow up and and um, there may or may not be time. I mean, if do, you do, we know if Kathy's going to be participating in this. I have no idea. Does okay. anyone have her cell number? Because I don't have her cell number. I do. No. Um, we can send out. Um, I can give her a call and make sure she has the yeah, dates. Actually, well, once that schedule. Actually, comes after out, we're off the year, give me her cell number and I will take the lead on that okay. and go with it. Um, so the schedule is: I'm going to be calling and setting it up for the 26 on the 6, 7:30, 6, 7:30, 6, mm -hmm. 38. Um, if a candidate can't make it, um, uh, I guess I'll let you know. But <laughs> Makes Jokingly, I'm saying, easier. well, they're eliminated. <laughs> That's fine. Now we're down to five. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, Can we decide on who, what, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can't, be. because when I call, if they say, oh, my gosh, I'm not even going to be in the, right. I have to have some, some. Um, can we talk about the reference checks? Um, uh, who... Uh, do we need to have those done by Wednesday? Do we need to? You don't have to have those done until you make your decision on the candidate. This, okay. from now on, you can start okay. doing that type of thing. You may decide that you, you're going to Google and call as you're reading, but again, I would defer to, to the chair and say, you all don't want to pick up the phone and call the superintendent in the district for, of, you know, Yeah, I think we've got to be clear call. about that. I, I, I don't, I, is it, can we say tonight that, um, we, um, and to push back if this is a problem, that we're not going to do any reference checks until after we see everybody? Is that appropriate knowing, or is that? Knowing full well that we at NESDEC are making reference checks mm -hmm. and we will be able to tell you who we've contacted and, you know, if we've got, if, if we say, you know, I think someone needs to give a call to to this superintendent. I think someone needs to talk to the special ed. If we mm -hmm. hear something that we think you need to check out, but we're going to be making it. We're going okay. to be making calls. And we've asked each of the candidates to supply us with people who are not on, who didn't provide references. Mm -hmm. And then we've also, we will make calls beyond that. Okay. So what do people think about that? That's, I think that's only fair. And yeah. Let's just not, you know, let's not overwhelm them and let, especially let, Nes, let NESDEC to their kind yeah. of discreet, mm -hmm. uh, professional. Uh, okay. Not that we're not professional. <laughs> uh, the other thing is uh, uh, press release, because obviously we have such a tremendous press coverage in Blackstone and Millville nowadays. Yeah. Um, should we write something up? Can we you, can you give, give us a form on You can, email? and... Um, I, if you if you I'll send an email to me, I can send you a yeah. template for press releases. Okay. Mike, I'll take want, that. I'll wanna, take that and get that out okay. as soon as possible. That way, you know, that way people aren't finding out happenstance. Mm -hmm. Well, in terms of the press release, let's just talk about that for a minute. It would go to uh, where would it go to? The call. We'd send it to the call. We'd send it to the Milford News. Um, what's the Telegram? What's the Telegram? Okay. Is that? Um, um, would we also put it on social media? We'd, we'd put it in the social media. We'll we'll put a write up and have uh, Joanne put it on the Facebook page, and then we'll tweet it. And um, you know, we on probably the, on the superintendent search. We'll put it on the su superintendent search uh, page on the on the website. So I, I don't know if there's maybe they can update the scroll too in the front that you know click right. here for uh, you know. And I, I was just going to put like a just a very. Blurb, um, Dr. S uh, Stanley Jones, right. uh, principal of the uh, vanilla. You, uh, vanilla. You have, you have um, the, the resumes mm -hmm. that are for the public. You have mm -hmm. copies to give out to the public if they so ask. You, you might want to add that to your, your so They're available sentence. from the superintendent's resumes office. Resumes are available. If you let anyone like to view their resumes, they're available in the superintendent's office. And these, these meetings also have to be posted? Yep, we'll do that tomorrow. Can we say something about a feed or a discuss a feedback form of some sort? Um, 
I, because you're posting you're posting the public meetings and they are going to be you know I just think it needs there needs to be some type of way that the public can communicate even though it is it's public and they need to be aware of that I still think it should be somewhere that you know please feel free to give your feedback or something on, on, on what at this point well that's my question okay that's my question is where can we get that feedback or let them give their feedback or voice well aren't we um, didn't we talk about a form or something that right. they could fill out and then well, probably that's what leave I'm behind so well so so I mean it, I think they would have to show up they'd at have the to show up and can we can we add that though like if you want to you know give feedback or some something well, or no? but I don't I don't I, I wouldn't want to diminish the fact that you want them to come out right right, right. and it's just a byproduct because and you don't want innuendo when people stand up they can't say I read in a blog so you need to have done your homework no, with that. No one's going to be standing up and asking the question. No, no. They're going to be doing it. Just knowing that it's available it. when they when they are here, when they do come here. Well, I think it could be a separate. I think the okay. first thing is to get the press release out, and then a second one we could do that. We could do well, on social well, we media, can, yeah. on everywhere. We could also announce at the next meeting, and we're announcing it obviously tonight too, mm -hmm. is that there will be feedback forms available for people to fill out. Uh, but you're right. I mean, we we ha we can't just. You know, or I read in on some Right, I understand you know. that. I'm just saying, I, I just want to make sure that there's a place for them to have a voice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whether it's here, whether it's. So I think, I, I think the way I'm envisioning it is that this, this press release goes out, there's a second one to kind of explain the steps mm -hmm. for next Wednesday and, and, and Thursday, mm -hmm. um, where there'll be forms on the library desk right. to give okay. feedback. Uh, bullet one, bullet two would, mm -hmm. if anyone has any questions, the committee will be selecting so three or four questions from an in the index cards that you give in a basket mm -hmm. um, and going from there. So okay. uh, you, are you doing that for the interviews on 26, 7, and 5, or are you waiting to do that do on the that, interviews on the 24th and the 25th? I wouldn't do it for your first round. You would not. No. no. That, the night, the night can, reasons. But I right. would, you, you would? Well, I, mean, I think I, that's when people are going to be here. Right. The first round. I think. I think. I think we could say we can do two or three questions if you're interested in submitting a question. Mm -hmm. there'll, there'll be a weighty for you to do that, but you got to come. You have to come to the meeting. Yeah. You know. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I, I would kind of side with. I, I'd be careful on this first round, okay? Because I really think that once again, I know that we need to be transparent. We want to have everyone involved, but this is our decision, and these questions this week. To the first round should be ours, and I and I think then you have to trust our judgment um, to say that okay this first round and then we've come we've we've winnowed the field and now we're going to allow some other questions as well. I, I really do is that, and I don't want to sound crass or not cooperative, but really this is the only higher that a school committee makes, okay, and, and we've been entrusted by the, the faith of the two communities to make this decision. It's really ours. You know, I think there's a time for public discourse. I think there's a time for public interaction. But this first round, it should be the eight of us. Mm -hmm. I also think we, we had um, different, uh, a diverse group in the screening committee. Mm -hmm. Um, they were, you know, we didn't hand pick them. They, you know, they were se selected by their groups. And um, you start to, and not that I'm against feedback, but at a certain point, you're just muddying the waters. Everybody, you know, right now you're having candidates that, first of all, they've made it through an interview with 12 people, which is enough. 12 personalities you had to appeal to. Now they're going to come out, they're going to have to appeal to eight more. Um, and y y you're not going to please everybody in the community. And um, I'm not against the feedback, but there's going to be somebody that's not going to like anyone. Well, I think we're talking about I, two, two, two different that's things. That's what I'm thinking. Feedback yeah. is someone sitting in the, in, the, in the galley here, and on the way out, they're going to go and give some feedback. Hey, I love, the, what, I love this guy's answer, you know, on this brown piece of paper. And, this and, the, only, and the only thing for that so feedback, are we talking hold on, about hold on, hold on. Are we talking? The feedback, the, the thing that I'm talking about is, say, is, is for myself saying, I guess I didn't look at it that way, or, or seeing that feedback. Not, not necessarily, you know, exactly what you said, is just, just being able to get another, uh, you know, I'm not looking for, you know, 
them to appeal to everybody. I'm just looking to see if there's something that I may have missed mm -hmm. on that feedback form. That's really all right. I, my intent was yeah. when I when now, I asked about that. I feedback. think the two things are there's going to be a feedback form, so people are here, sitting witnessing the uh, the public interview that we're doing. Um, um, because we're holding the meeting in public, it doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's a public meeting. Right. It doesn't mean everyone has a you know a, you know. So I think if we have the feedback forms is one thing. Someone will come out and say, "I, lo I love this guy's answer." Is I love that this what we're talking answer. about? Hold on, no. And the second thing is, I think you can have at the end of of each interview, you know, if there's a couple of questions from the public that's a, a similar theme that can be asked to every candidate what, what, what we can do one or two questions I've, I've seen that done in many school committees during their final four or final six or, or whatever I mean and um, if we run out of time I mean, we don't do it you know but which one are we talking about next week no the feedback form or the questions both where did we lose where did we lose track of so we are talking about both I I, I in their description when, when, when you said this is uh, what one were you referring to? The I thought the, I thought the feedback and, and feedback. questions from the audience should be the second go round. Uh, my, my my feeling is that really this is uh, you welcome the the public you you let them sit here and listen but it's these these are our questions. If we have extra time, I think there are extra questions. Um, you know, if you really look at an hour, um, there's what ten or twelve items of. Uh, uh, we, sh we should have a question that probably uh, reflects uh, all of those items if we have some extra time. If if we do, um, the, you know, there should be there should be there should be follow up. You know, a, as a follow up question to what how you just answered about mm -hmm. how you balance the budget. What do you do about uh, Chapter 70 cuts or some some nonsense? You know, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of, so really it's ours. You know, you know what I mean. It should be. We shouldn't feel we have 60 minutes with the person, so that's a f fairly finite amount of time for the decision process that you're going to need to make. And I think that, you know, maybe like Wendy's question will spur Diane's question to be slightly different than what she had, and and you kind of gel that. No, nothing against the uh, uh, the public; they are certainly should be included. They should be here to listen to it. Okay, and the feedback I think is through the second round. Because because we have to kind of move that in that direction. Mm -hmm. I just I disagree because feedback. If they took the time to come out here, I want to know their opinion. It doesn't mean it's going to be my opinion, but I want to know if there's something that I missed, in, or they took a different way, or and it's public information. It's not like like you had said. It's not going to be like I heard this on a blog. You know, well, well, no, but it's I mean, be a form I think, they fill out. It's not going to be take away from our wrong. interview time. I mean, if someone approaches you afterwards and said, "Have you thought about this?" I mean, you could certainly use that in your own decision making. You're going to make this decision. You know, the eight of us are. Um, you know, with public input, with with input from uh, from the community leaders, students, and so and staff. But it's going to be our decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, I think I think having a feedback form even next week I think is important because if if someone comes out to sit in the galley and wants to, you know, say, man, I love that guy's answer, you know, or that woman's answer, you know, they they can and, I, and we can make that comment at the at the end of each interview. Please feel free. Anyone's mm -hmm. here can go put feedback on you different color, color forms. Yeah. Co different it, it color forms. Be, it can it'll only be two. It'll right. only be you know right. two each time. And you need to make sure that there's no in in all of your notes. And I'm going just going over things that you already know but you cannot when you're making notes during the answers and people giving feedback it can't be about their appearance marital status or anything like that um, you can make a statement about <coughs> I, I feel that the presentation was you know that was monotone or whatever it is that's fine but not something personal you can't ask personal information you don't you shouldn't comment on how they appear even if you, you, you know you never say oh love that blazer or whatever it is shy away from all of that so you know if this if if you're not sure you should ask it don't ask it and the same thing on the feedback forms these are going to be public it's rare as a matter of fact it hasn't happened to me but it has happened to other consultants where a candidate might say I want to see I want to see. I think that I don't think I was a viable c c candidate in that district from the get go, or something. You know, mm -hmm. so just know that if it's if you have things where people can write, then those things have to be made available. Um, in terms of the feedback forms, 
Right. right. Generally, you, you have a keeper of them. Maybe the librarian <coughs> here that would, and any of you can stop in to but look. That, that opens us up to some, some risk there, because if someone in the public forum provides feedback that goes against what you just said as far as people's public appearance or... I don't know I how mean, that affects how you. Does that you can't control that. That's, that's part of the public record, right? But, right? Mm -hmm. So, if, I mean, couldn't it be in... in inferred by that person that, oh, I didn't get this job, and here's the, here's the reason why. I don't know. Mm. I mean, person from a, said they from didn't a like public my feedback form? Just, yeah. I, I, just I don't know. Well, I mean, it's, that, that does get subpoenaed if there's a, if there's a discrimination. Generally. Yeah. They could, and they could go after the person that wrote it. How are you going to know who wrote it? Or generally a statement, again, from you, if, you're, if you're creating the questions, sheets, leave a space between the questions and, and give a fresh sheet of questions to, e you know, to each member, for each candidate, so that you can write comments mm -hmm. and you say to the public, if you are listening to an answer and you have some feedback you want to provide on the can candidate's answers, feel free, something like that. I mean, keep it so that it's on topic. I don't know. You'd have to really think about that. I'm not... Mm -hmm. So you're talking about the structure of the feedback form. Right. The not structure of the feedback form should not be what's your overall impression, and they can say, ugh. Right. Mm -hmm. So the feedback form should be something on, 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 on uh, target to uh, maybe listing the questions and writing some feedback. You know, I mean, does someone want to take that on and, and write no. a feedback form? But Do you have we, samples? If, if I don't know. I can ask. Uh, I haven't. It can't just say, please provide any feedback that you. Just leave on it, the answer. On just the, leave it wide open. Answer questions. questions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it could be that simple. I don't want, I, I don't want to make it super complicated mm -hmm. either. Well, you can, I mean, where we took the questions, that, that little list we that we took them the questions for each question. But even the little list please that we have provide the us with yeah, feedback. Do you have any feedback about this candidate? Yeah. Leave it like that. Well, but that opens it up to. It, you want to keep it to the answers to Do you have any questions. feedback on this candidate pertaining to this interview? Now that you've heard the interview, do you have feedback? Yeah. yeah. Or whatever. Just like that. Okay. Yeah, but I, I don't think you want to list all the questions. No, okay. That's fine. Well, no, but you could, I mean, you could clearly just use the same, you know, budget. Do you have any? Oh, I, any, I, no? I wouldn't. Okay. And, and then, then you've got on I'm the 27th, you've got a candidate at 8 o'clock. Um, 9.15 or so, he or she's going to be walking out the door. Are you going to stay then for a half hour to narrow it down? We still have the 5th. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, on the 5th. Yeah. 7.30. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. 7.30, wrap up by 9. So 7.30, that candidate would be leaving by quarter of 9 yep. or so or before, and then you would stay to decide? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to come early on the 26th and stay late on the 5th? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And then somebody will call me on the 5th so that I can start notifying candidates? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, well, at 10 o'clock at night, you want me to call you? Sure. Or okay. call me on the 6th. I'm, I'm That's when they do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's yeah. fine. I'll, I'll do that. You can you call. really call them that late. I do. You do. Yeah. Oh, sure. That one night was. I'll be calling them tonight. Mm -hmm. um. Okay. Anything else that we haven't reviewed? I don't think so. Let me just look. Do at you want to read? You want to read the um, press release before we send it out? I can. I can email it to I you tonight. I don't need to. Right. I can. Send I'll send you, you a copy though. Okay. Okay. No, it's your press release. Got the first line. So we have somebody's going to ask an icebreaker. Be brief. You? Yeah. Um, be types be of questions to avoid. We hmm? So public brief, relations and the press, who's going to speak to the press on behalf of the committee? The chair speaks for the press. Okay. I guess when, we can find the chair. The, when we can find the press. Then. So if people call you and ask you questions about the search, you can say it's going along. We're very pleased with the progress. If you have particular questions, call the chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have any uh, cheat, cheat sheets for me to, uh, to respond to? Okay, press. Script. You know what? Um, do you have Art Betancourt? I do. Yep. Call him. Okay. He's a master at this. And uh, he sends his apologies. He could not make it tonight. But um, 
I just just put my phone on speak all the way drive down here. He says, oh, yeah, and don't forget. No, yeah, don't forget. I said, God, what do you think I have in my head? <laughs> I'm not going to forget it all. Um, okay. So take again, taking notes when the candidate is um, speaking. You can write on the content. If I didn't hear this, I was listening for this, no mention of this, not anything that you wouldn't want if a candidate were to question. I mean, could you write too long of an opening? You can write too long of an opening. You can write anything like that. That is not personal. Okay. You can't write, um, well, a personal comment about this. Okay. Um, types of questions to avoid. Uh, I think at some point, you can ask questions like, well, if you worked here, would you, would you move into our district? But probably not now. Yeah. Not yet. Okay. All right. And in that time in between, you can get ready for the next candidate and jot down notes. Do you have any tips from the screening committee you want to give them? So for Wednesday, we're going to have a, fee a feedback form. We're going to have uh, the list of questions. If you get all those to me by Monday, I'll get them nice and formatted on a sheet. Uh, and I'll have multiple copies uh, so you have a fresh sheet for each candidate. Um, and um, You'll have to d make some, some water. We'll have water. Right. Fresh. Wendy's going to make some cookies. But when I said fresh <laughs> water, I meant it, just a different glass. We'll, no, we'll, we'll have bottled water. <laughs> we'll have bottled water. And um, well, we'll it's nice to have a glass for the yeah. candidate, too, so they we'll have one there, too. We'll have one there, too. We'll have one of the little mm -hmm. pugs. We'll buy a case of the pugs and put them over there. And, you know. and, and a, lot, a clock of some sort. A clock. Even if we do, like, a little TED Talk clock, we can have it right well, here. I'm so. sure there's one, there's one that's just like that. You could just put, just up, put it right up yeah. on the... But yeah, where is sure the candidate one. going to sit right there? there? Right there. Right there. Let's this one. Yeah, we could put it right over here in this corner, like a little digital clock. If is it is going to be televised? Does it have to be? No, it just has to be. I don't know about the rule about tele uh, televised. No, it doesn't have to be televised. But we have been pretty transparent with our deliberations and so forth. So I, I think it should be televised. If it's televised, then whoever comes on the fifth. It depends on when it's out there who will have seen the truth. Yeah, that's what I was just <laughs> oh, thinking yeah. about, One is if they the see other. the other interview. Can we record them and then post them later? Go ahead. Um, like after the fifth? Or not. If people want to is see there it, any they benefit to that, though? This is, these are people we didn't hire. Well, no. the no. Each, each interviewee the is going to. But if you have somebody coming on the, right, if you have somebody coming on the fifth, they're going to see. I'll be watching, yeah. They'll see yeah. the questions. So. Well, how would they watch? So well, they can watch and the watch. other thing watch. is, the, uh, that's an interesting point. So. Um, they may have friends in Boston. Stanley Jones, again, is also a candidate in, we'll say, Northbridge. Well, I just watched his whole interview with Blackstone Mobile. Right. right. I don't think we should. I just, I think, and well, I think I, we're opening it. It's a public meeting. People can be here. We might even get more people to come out. Participate. I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, these things are televised all over the place. You yeah, know, I it, disagree. Maybe not yeah, live. I don't think or so. Or maybe that, if they're all done at the same, on the same that, day. I, I think you're giving the, the future candidates an advantage if you do that. Because we're asking them all the Is there any benefit to that? The be yeah, they're going to have the yeah, question. Sure there is. No, no, I mean, is there any benefit the to us publicizing it, though? Oh, is there any benefit to broadcasting it? Is there a benefit to the guy no. watching so it before him? I, is there a risk? I don't yes, see that, benefit, that, that we maybe. need to do it. Why do we need to do it? I think that's your question. Why do we need to do it? Why do we need yeah. to televise it? I mean, if they want to come and sit in the audience, they can We're being very transparent here. Come on out. Was chairs available? <laughs> okay. So we get a view of the audience. That clear. So the decision is is what right now? Uh, the the taped. meeting is public, taped. and taped. it is public. It will be taped. Taped, taped for and then future what, viewing. And then the tape will go where? Be in well, the vault we'll until the fifth. After the fifth, yeah. Hmm. But what would we interviewed all the candidates? Then we can make it public. But then it's people that didn't get selected. You want to run that on YouTube? Hmm. Again, I mean, we don't have to. We, we, to again, we don't have to video. No. We don't have to video. We can have a, it's a public meeting. People can come out, and then I think the the 
again, I keep talking about rounds. The next round is, is on the uh, video, on, on live. Well, the next round is a day in the district. You're well, not going to follow them around. No, but that, no, but that, that evening, that <laughs> evening, <laughs> evening, <laughs> evening, <laughs> evening, evening, <laughs> post live because you come, come to, pro, you've helmet. narrowed it down to this bad boy, these and, two or three. And the night interview. Bad boy, right. yeah. And the night interviews, the night interviews will be. Public. Yes, be yeah, so, yeah. Oh, girl. Yeah. they're probably watching us right now, making a decision. <laughs> See, <laughs> these people are a little micromanaging. Well, you know, the other benefit of not having it on camera is that we could actually move that table closer, so the person doesn't feel like does they're feel across like the room. Right. Right. Another area code. That's the six one seven area code, isn't it? Eliminate these two end tables. Yeah, bring a little closer. So okay, so we we videotape. Did you tape it? No. Mm -hmm. no. No, nothing. Okay, good. Just live. Just Memorex here. Yeah. Just live. Mm -hmm. right, so what's the decision? No video. No video. Okay. We want to vote. Mm -hmm. I don't have to vote. Consensus. No. Video? Yes or no? Does anyone want a video? Like or dislike? No. Like. Yeah, there you go. Like. Out. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I think you could. I think it's go. raining out. Raining ice. Is that raining? What? Oh, is it? Ice. Ice storm. Ice storm. Ice. Great. Don't rush that. <laughs> yeah, I know, kid. Uh, I'm ready to go driving that now. Okay. All right. Let me ring my chair. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go and start calling to set up, um, and I will send I you. Time. I guess. Do you have yeah, but, an email, a card, an email address where I can just send you then the get Or should I send it to Diane? Well, we're on okay. the site. Either the website has all our email addresses. The screening um, schedule of candidates when I have it done. Yeah. Okay. And then you guys are going to email out to the community the questions that you already asked. Yes. And then on Monday, by Monday, or anyway, a time in between, just email me the questions and I can, um, for informational purpose only, and then go. If you want help crafting your question, then you could go to. Um, Do you have those questions already ready to just be sent out? Those questions that you yes. answered on the screen? Well, we have to get ours in by Monday, so we're going to want. We had a lot of extra questions, so I'll probably highlight the ones that actually got asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, we had one about personnel. Well, there was like six questions. We asked one, so I'd like to just highlight, so yeah. you don't wonder which one we asked. We all asked one, but we each kind of chose three. We had kind of three within each category, to be able to have some flexibility. So, but we pretty much asked the same one. So. Mm -hmm. So I'd just like to highlight that for you. I mean, I can send you the whole list that's not highlighted, but it would. I think you have my email, too. I gave it to you over the summer. Okay. And, uh, we, we went back and forth about to, uh, reaching out to the stakeholders in the community. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Anything mm -hmm. else people are? I just want to recap back to the dates. Did we scratch the 20th? We did. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion to Ms. Robbins. Second by Ms. Greenstein. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And again.